I have very fond memories growing up, sitting on my mother's lap, watching her play Doom or Wolfenstein. I've always had family that have had systems, the NES, the Super Nintendo, etc., and I just, I never really stopped. My name is Parker Mackay. A lot of people probably know me better as Intero. I am a Rainbow Six Siege caster. I first got into Rainbow Six on Rainbow Six 3. I liked it an awful lot after that. I had a couple friends that were playing Rainbow Six Siege. I finally got around to playing it. I was, I was hooked. The community that I helped co-found had a team that was competing in this tiny, tiny league. We're talking four or five viewers max. And the original commentator who was doing it prior had some part of his computer blow up. They didn't have anybody to cast the match. And I offered to step in and, and try my hand at it. I was incredibly nervous. I had no idea what I was doing, but the reception was, was good. And I began getting asked to cast slightly larger leagues, slightly larger events. And then three and a half months after my first cast, I get offered a contract to fly out to Poland and, and cast Pro League, which is absolutely unbelievable. It's a huge rush to be able to connect with so many people across all these different areas of the community so fast. I think you almost have a responsibility to realize the importance behind your words. I try to say and present myself in a way that benefits not just one portion of the community because Pro League succeeds when the rest of the community succeed. When you're commentating it, it's more of a learning experience and you look at it as impart as much wisdom on the viewership in regards to what's happening in front of them. Communication within the game between teammates is absolutely crucial. Great teams have lost to good teams all because of communication before. I cannot stress how crucial sound is. For us as casters, it's a lifesaver. Guns sound unique, gadgets sound unique, equipment, throwables, projectiles. We have to be able to hear that and go so that we can pick up on what's happening. How does it matter to the players? Same thing. You're not listening, you're losing. Tens of millions of people who play this game. And I think given that, the dev team does a pretty damn good job of making as many people happy as they can. You've got the pros and you've got the casual communities who don't really align. And then you've got that third pillar in the middle, connecting both ends of the bridge, which is your content creators, your streamers, and your influencers. If you're worried that orgs are leaving Siege and not interested, stop right now. First one will remain one of the most iconic events that I've ever been to in my life. It just, it feels like a family reunion. People fly in from all over the world and it's just it's a big weekend of recognition for people who put their lives into making this game and this community as great as it is. A feeling of honor and of privilege to be one of these people celebrated at the Invitational. It's surreal. Live, sleep, and breathe Rainbow Six.